Bugatti's new extra-long V16 engine is naturally aspirated. Welcome to HSR Motors, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. Whether you're a diehard petrolhead or simply fascinated by the world of cars, you've come to the right place. Buckle up as we take you on a thrilling journey through the latest in automobile technology, jaw-dropping car reviews, and adrenaline-pumping adventures. Get ready to rev your engines and fuel your passion because at HSR Motors, we're not just driving cars, we're driving dreams. The monster engine is nearly 40 inches long. Bugatti is phasing out the W16, but the new engine earmarked for the Chiron successor will have the same cylinder count. Some 33 years after the obscure Suzita Marauder V16T, a new V16 is right around the corner. Molsheim's next hypercar arrives in June with a massive powertrain devoid of forced induction. New details have emerged about the 16-cylinder monster. Bugatti Rimac CEO Mate Rimac shared some preliminary details this week during the Future of the Car Summit conference in London. The 36-year-old Croatian engineer and entrepreneur revealed the V16 will skip turbocharging altogether. It's a significant departure from the Chiron and Veyron, but also the EB110 before them. All three cars rocked a quad-turbo setup. The founder and CEO of the Rimac Group, which owns 55% of Bugatti Rimac, revealed the new V16 engine is going to measure a whopping 39.3 inches long. That'll make it nearly 16 inches longer than the outgoing W16. The latter will be phased out once production of the Mistral Roadster and track-only bolide ends. The newly developed engine has already been confirmed to feature hybridization. These are all the details confirmed thus far, so this is the part where the speculation begins. German magazine Auto Motor UND Sport claims the V16 has a giant 8.3-liter displacement and has been developed with Cosworth. It revs all the way up to 9,000 RPM and works with three electric motors. Combined, the output could reach 1,800 horsepower. On its own, the combustion engine is said to be good for around 1,000 horsepower. Two of the electric motors are believed to drive the front wheels while the third one powers the rear axle. The latter is supposedly built into a dual-clutch, eight-speed automatic transmission. Factoring in the DCT, the engine-slash-gearbox assembly is reportedly 78.7 inches long. If reports are to be believed, Bugatti's engineers are cramming in a 24.8-kilowatt-hour battery good for 37 miles of electric range. AMS has it on good authority the Bugatti Chiron replacement will hit 62 miles per hour in about 2 seconds and 124 miles per hour in less than 5. From 0 to 186 miles per hour, it'll take less than 10 seconds and the 0 to 249 miles per hour task could be completed in under 25 seconds. Flat out, it's going to be electronically capped at 277 miles per hour. If the report is accurate, only 250 cars are going to be made. As a refresher, the Veyron was limited to 450 units while the Chiron is being built in 500 examples. Although the reveal takes place next month, deliveries to customers are apparently not going to start until 2026. Price? At least 3.6 million euros, which works out to $3.86 million at current exchange rates. And that's a wrap for today's episode at HSR Motors. If you enjoyed diving into the world of wheels with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our exhilarating content. Remember, every like and share fuels our passion to bring you more thrilling adventures and informative insights. So until next time, keep chasing your automotive dreams with HSR Motors. Drive safe, stay inspired, and let's keep the journey rolling together.